Our story begins in December 2022. OpenAI had recently introduced ChatGPT based on GPT 3.5. This model was miles ahead of its predecessors. The biggest noticeable jump was in text generation. It sounded so human and it understood context which earlier models had some problems with. Before, only specific people were aware of the developments in GPTs, but OpenAI wanted to showcase their ChatGPT to a wider audience. It crossed 100 million users in just two months, making it the fastest growing app on the planet until threads passed it in 2023. Just before ChatGPT blew up, Nvidia saw a dip in their share price. But ever since then, it has seen astronomical growth. Now, some of you might be thinking, Nvidia got lucky, right? It was in the right place at the right time and AMD was just unlucky. Well, not exactly. Going back, Nvidia always advocated for newer technologies. This really became apparent in 2006 when it released its Compute Unified Device Architecture or CUDA platform, supercharging parallel-based computing. As revolutionary as that was, guess when did it receive its first subpoena for possible antitrust violations? Yep. 2006. Your typical concerns regarding corporate reconciliation. Deep learning, AI, and other 3D applications require parallel computing, where a task can be divided into subtasks and they can be completed simultaneously, unlike a CPU which waits for the current task to be finished and then gets started on the next one. Seeing Nvidia's dominance and their support for new technologies, 2006, in the same year, AMD wanted to diversify its offerings. So after acquiring ATI, they entered in the GPU game. Right from the start, AMD replicated its CPU strategy, cutting their competitor in price and offering a good product. For the longest time, that was their strategy, that middle sweet spot. However, Nvidia having a 13 years head start definitely cemented their position in the industry. Now we know that Nvidia's position in the AI industry was not a mere coincidence. It was all carefully planned. So we can now look at OpenAI. Founded in December 2015, their mission was a non-profit entity that would develop AI in a way that would benefit humanity as a whole. Non-profit of course and cut to nine years later, is trying to become for-profit business. That's a whole other topic that we're not gonna go into here. 2018 marked the first year of GPT, known as GPT-1. This LLM existed in a time where Nvidia was making huge progress both in applications and infrastructure. In 2019, OpenAI partnered with Microsoft for their resources and computing. As the workloads grew with each iteration, so did their infrastructure, the funding from tech giants, and dependence on Nvidia. Before the pandemic in 2019, the share price was fluctuating between $4 to $7. But in 2020, the world went to shit, and everyone started panicking and hoarding stuff and everyone started crypto mining. Graphics cards were hard to come by, especially after the announcement of RTX 3000 series. For years after, Nvidia saw significant growth, but they did see a massive decline after the Bitcoin crash. Regardless, they were already set up before the ChatGPT release. After the release, Nvidia saw unbelievable growth. Their market cap kept growing along with their share price. For capitalization and sustainability, they started focusing on their enterprise solutions like the HBM series. This is the point where AI and Nvidia became synonymous. More companies joined in on the craze, OpenAI kept getting investments, and tech giants introduced their own alternative. In parallel, tech giants and other manufacturers realized that this trend needs to be utilized. Everyone and their grandmother were in it, whether it's a tech product, a software, a service, or a subscription. Companies used to use smart in front of their products, but they replaced that smart with AI, even in cases where that didn't even make any sense. As a result, Nvidia being the computing powerhouse it is, kept raking in all the money. We now come to the present day, Nvidia becoming the second most valuable company and then the world's most valuable. Seeing this climb, deals were reportedly being finalized. Mr. Jensen, seeing this situation, sold $95 million of shares. After that, Nvidia lost half a trillion dollars in market cap. 
the biggest decrease in market cap on the planet. Oddly enough, Nvidia's got all sorts of accomplishments under its belt. This loss was the result of various aspects. According to this amazing article by The Fool Financial, the whole market suffered a downwards trend. In addition, investors wanted to see the jobs report and the interest rate situation by the feds. At the time, I thought this half a trillion dollars hit is going to be a significant deterrent to the shareholders. Fast forward to a couple of months after, they not only recovered the lost market cap, but surpassed it, currently sitting at an all-time high. Now we can finally look at the bubble. Guys, ever since this craze, majority of what we've seen are incremental improvements. We saw text generation. And don't get me wrong, it has gotten astronomically better. But it's still text generation. Or what about video generation or image generation? Again, light years ahead, but the category is still the same. We're still yet to see some aspirational enterprise implementations. I've seen companies bend over backwards trying to justify the AI use cases. You can write emails, ask for suggestions, make a personalized routine and other things along those lines. Several industry experts like Elliott Hedge Fund Management think that the value is inflated. Sure, Nvidia recovered the $500 billion, but that just goes to show you how extremely volatile the situation is. I can only speculate at this point, but I think the market will be heading for a huge correction soon. If it does, there will be several causes for this correction. First up, the energy requirements. LLMs use insane amounts of electricity and we're already projected to exceed the electricity requirements of entire countries. Not to mention it's being generated by non-renewable sources and this is a major contributor towards CO2 emissions. Secondly, the lawsuits against Microsoft and AI mostly revolving around the legality of training content. If these go through, the demand for GPUs could go down. And speaking of training content, that's also a huge problem. With the drastic development of each iteration, if we keep up the conservative techniques, we could run out of data in a few years or in less than 10 years. Efforts are already in place to introduce more efficient techniques and methods, but this is still a big issue considering we don't have the proper tools, legal frameworks, and the exact logistics to utilize the data in the context of training AI. Fourthly, the profitability issue. ChatGPT is still not profitable and even in 2024, it's looking for investors. Costs are astronomical and with each improvement, these costs go way up in relation to the profits. OpenAI estimates turning a profit soon, but at the time and for the foreseeable future, costs will remain at all time high. Finally, the federal investigation into the antitrust concerns. FTC and DOJ are on a roll. They first decided to look into Apple's anti-competitive practices in late 2023 with the whole Beeper app. Then they decided on the Google's Monopoly case and now Nvidia is in their crosshairs. I mean, they're a decade or so too late. They should have put proper safeguards in place along with intervention and monitoring. But hey, better late than never, I guess. We'll take what we can get. The concerns focus on possible vendor lock-in mechanisms. Nvidia might be giving customers who use their chips exclusively better pricing and other potential benefits. And if you go with the competitor, they might withdraw their favors. These need a lot more investigation, but the primary question is going to be whether Nvidia used its dominance to render the competition useless or not. We don't have any time frame for the investigation or a potential trial, and these are all concerns, not any solid elements. But putting all of this together, you start to get a clearer picture regarding Nvidia and AI. Unfortunately, a simple solution isn't available to us. But to start off, AI needs much more stringent restrictions globally, regulatory bodies need to intervene at crucial moments instead of playing catch up, and we need to hold the companies accountable for going against their own sustainability goals. Till we do, thank you so much for your support guys. Please like and subscribe because... This is my impression of the Earth the first time its whole body was photographed. This is Rogue Hat. Catch you guys later.